Hello guys and welcome back. Today we have uh, a special video uh, that's for uh, the version 19 of the Brutal Doom uh, mode for the classic uh, Doom game. And uh, actually that was uh, a video that I wanted to make for quite some time but uh, but the other video with because of the other videos that I had uh, to make I kept forgetting it. And special kudos to my buddy Kale uh, for recording me. So uh, like uh, before getting into it, as a little bit of a disclaimer, I want to say that as far as graphics uh, go, I haven't changed too much stuff, uh, just because there are so many options in there and uh, I didn't want to change something that uh, I didn't understand and uh, as... Uh, uh, so as a result to break the game in some uh, way or form. But the, those things that I did know what they were, I did change. So, let me show you. Let's start. Um, let's go from the start. So, uh, are the controls... There is nothing that uh, could uh, lag your game or cause uh, problems running the game. Uh, mouse control, joystick, player setup. Here you can customize your guy as you want. Always, uh, also remember that the always run option is over here. Yeah. So, uh, gameplay options, some stuff that you may want to change. Uh, more like uh, this, these options are more for your guns, etc. Uh, compatibility options, I have changed nothing here, actually. Um, auto map, nothing. Huge. I have changed some stuff, and also I have the the other mod that uh, changed the hood. Um, uh, I, maybe I will talk about that later. Shalanius, I have changed nothing. Also, over here, uh, sound. Uh, this was uh, 32 bits by default. Um, the the channels. I have changed nothing. Advanced options. Uh, MIDI voice, I have put them max to maximum. Uh, number of emulated OPL chips, uh, as it is, I have changed nothing over there. And um, let's go now to the display options. The ones that we are interested to. OpenGL options. Dynamic light options. So, uh, all this stuff I have turned, uh, I don't remember if it was yes, but I have changed to yes. Uh, dynamic lights, uh, enable light definitions, ship lights, light effect sprites, and light effects particles. All this, yes. Light intensity to 1, light size to 1. But uh, this stuff should be like that by default. Texture options, this I, this I have changed. Texture enable yes, texture filter mode linear, anisotropic filtering 8 plus, texture format RGB88, enable high res textures of course yes, high quality uh, res size module 8Q4X, resize textures on, resize sprites on, resize fonts on, precast GL textures yes, camera textures off screen yes, and uh, trim sprite and this on. And uh, for the preferences, the sector uh, light mode is uh, the Doom one, fog mode dial, radial, sorry. Um, as far as the rest of things required, uh, let me think maybe if I have changed something. Particle style is smooth, uh, rendering quality is speed, use vertex buffer is dynamic. Uh, fuzz style is shadow. I have just sprite clipping is always and uh, enhanced night vision mode is on, environment mind of or mirrors on. But I think this stuff was default too. So um, screen size, gamma correction, this you can change it as you will. Vertical thing on, screen web style melt, it's cool. Um, show and uh, that's just settings. Um, these are the cameras and the personal options that you might want to change at your liking. Set video mode. 
it's a full screen uh, full screen is the best way I have found to run the game uh, it's the more stable one and uh, I my personal favorite just in case if you are not sure that uh, your game will uh, run perfectly uh, aspect radio all uh, again, I didn't know if, uh, even if it's a very well-made mod, I didn't know if, it, if it's uh, very nicely adjusted for all the corrections. So if I made, if I put it in uh, 69, I didn't know, I didn't know if it would run correctly. So aspect radio all and just like just leave it like that. Force aspect radio off. Again, for the same reasons. Enable four uh, to five to four aspect radio. Yes. Uh, and the resolution that you want to change to your resolution mine is the native 2560 uh, it's the resolution that uh, I run all my games on actually uh, if you have any problems running the game uh, some kinds of slowdown etc I think that the resolution is the is the easiest problem to find uh, is um, it's very easy to understand if uh, your uh, slowdown, let's say, uh, experience is caused by resolution uh, or not. It's the easiest problem to identify, let's say. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, let's see something else over here. Um, Okay, so uh, there are so many options in this mod that you probably wouldn't want to change them all, uh, and you should change uh, change them all uh, only if you know exactly what you're doing, because uh, exa exactly like I said before, even if it's a very well-made uh, mod for Doom. Um, there are always, or there are would there would be some holes all the time, and always that could uh, break your game. So only change the options that you are most confident that uh, will not break your game. Um, the the OpenGL, the OpenGL uh, options and preferences, and uh, together with the. Um, uh, with the texture options, uh, I think it's the most definitive uh, thing that you should you should uh, check. Always, uh, you remember that you have the uh, that you, you have the reset to default option. Uh, just in case, if you are not sure what have caused the problems that you maybe have running the game. Reset everything to default and then start um, uh, start changing one option at a time. That's your best bet to identifying what your what your pro graphic problem is and what slows down your game. Uh, as you have seen from uh, from uh, this from my settings, this is how I have it. But uh, this uh, may be. It may be something that changes from uh, PC to PC and from uh, one system to another. Um, so the settings that I have may not be the best, let's say, for your system. Uh, play around with them and be careful not to change too much uh, and always have control over your settings. Uh, so guys, uh, I really hope it was uh, informative. Uh, I know it was uh, quite a quick, quite a quick video, but um, these are the settings that I use for uh, Brutal Doom version 19. Uh, yeah, guys, support this uh, Doom, this Doom mode. It's amazing. And uh, if you find this video informative, give me a thumbs up and a like. And I will see you next time, guys. Have a good one.